Threats to forbid Prince Andrew from donning ceremonial robes during the coronation have made him furious. At Queen Elizabeth's burial last year, the Duke of York was previously forbidden from donning his ceremonial robes. According to reports, King Charles may forbid his disgraced brother from donning ceremonial robes at his coronation in May. Since Prince Andrew reached an out-of-court settlement with Virginia Jufri after accusations he adamantly rejected, it is rumored that the king is unsure about whether or not to permit him to wear the velvet robes and insignia designating his status as a Knight of the Garter. According to reports, Andrew is furious that His Majesty has kept him in the dark while considering his options. Prince Andrew was not permitted to wear his uniform at his mother's burial in September of last year since he had stepped down from his royal duties. While attending five ceremonies during the period of mourning for Queen Elizabeth II, working members of the royal family wore military dress, although Andrew and Prince Harry wore black mourning suits. After losing his military title of Colonel of the Grenadier Guards, Andrew might be requested to put on a lounge suit as the King's coronation draws near and the firm prepares for the historic celebrations. The Prince had allegedly been totally in the dark on his job and needed attire for the coronation, a source told the Mail. The insider continued, Andrew is enraged. He already feels insulted and like he is being told what to do over something he is entirely entitled to do, where? According to a report from last June, Andrew was permitted to appear in his full robes despite King Charles and Prince William pleading with Her Majesty to reverse the decision. The crowning of King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla on Saturday, May 6, at Westminster Abbey marks the beginning of the coronation weekend. The ceremony is filled with religious symbolism and pageantry. To fit into Charles' slimmed-down monarchy, the service is anticipated to be smaller and shorter than Elizabeth II's 1953 coronation. His Majesty's event is expected to be far shorter than Elizabeth's coronation, which lasted three hours. Also, attendees are expected to dress in more contemporary fashion. It is believed that King Charles decided to defy convention and stop wearing silk breeches and stockings, in another news. Fergie discusses her bond with Diana and how being around female royals has influenced her life. For ten years, Sarah Ferguson was a recognized member of the royal family. In an interview that was released on the same day as International Women's Day, Fergie discussed how specific female members of the royal family influenced her life. The late Princess Diana and the Duchess of York had a close bond that she discusses in detail. In a candid interview with Hello!, Fergie says that Diana taught her a great deal while she was a royal. She uttered, My friend Princess Diana gave me a lot of advice on how to interact with the media. However, it was only with the passage of time and experience that I realized how publicity can benefit you both positively and negatively. This understanding has given me the platform to discuss the issues that are most important to me. Together with Diana, Fergie also mentioned the late Queen Elizabeth II, who she calls her greatest influence, in her remarks. She uttered, her being my mother-in-law was the greatest honor of my life. As a head of state and a private person, she was the most exceptional example of responsibility, loyalty, and fortitude. She continued, referring to their tight friendship following her divorce from Prince Andrew, she continued to remain close to me even after my divorce, and I will always be appreciative of that. She is sorely missed. Fergie also used the opportunity to talk candidly about being a mother to Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, two of the late Queen's granddaughters. Fergie called them well-adjusted and level-headed, and she expressed her pride in them most for becoming mothers. What I am most proud of is that my daughters have developed into such lovely mothers, the woman remarked. Sienna, the princess's one-year-old daughter, is raised by Beatrice. Princess Eugenie's son August is two years old and she is presently expecting her second child.